Hey guys, it's me Cruel, back again with another reaction video on the channel and today I'll be watching and reacting to One Us with their new Black Mirror song, which is the title track for their Binary Code mini album that came out today. I'm like about two hours late for this one, so excuse me, uh, today I slept a little bit longer and just, you know, took the rest after yesterday was a lot of stuff happening. Today's basically only One Us, although I've seen that there's something else I want to check out. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, then welcome, I make collaborations every single day on YouTube. And on top of that, also have a Patreon channel with even more content that is stuff I can't do on YouTube, which includes live situations, album reviews, TV show, K drama, anime rations in their full uncut form. So if you're interested in any of those things, then you can check the, uh, the link out in the description of the video or on my website, kultimo.com. And yeah, in general, just make sure to subscribe to the missing uploads here, right? Uh, quick shout out to my Patreon lineup for May. Special goes out to Fortitude Yatna and me and Thank you guys. And yeah, here we go. One us with Black Mirror. There's no English subtitles, only Korean. Um, we're just gonna close them, I guess. Let's go. I have not seen any teaser. Wait. Oh. The female backup dancers. I was like, wait, they look really like like women there. But I thought it was the makeup for a second. Sorry. Okay, very bright colors. I always pronounce his name wrong, but Pan Wung? I hope. That's the only guy I know, really, from One Us. Ooh, I like the change up in sound there. It's like almost it built it up already. It was like, oh, it's like coming, but then they kind of reworked it there. And now they have a pre chorus. Go back a bit. Very funky upbeat beat, and then. But no, that's just a pre chorus. Oh, yeah, now it's building up a lot in the back. Uh oh, a lot. Let's see. Okay, that's cool. I like those things. I, I I like visual, like with the when they play with their visual senses, and they just completely black out, cause black mirror. So basically, it's it's like a black mirror right now. You could, if you like, look in your screen right now, you could probably see yourself somewhere. Hey. Okay. Oh, the effect though. Oh, and they. Oh, oh, I love. Okay. More and more groups do this these days. I really like the outfit changes mid choreo. The cuts are really good though, as well. And in general, the chorus drop was really nice. I like that one. Dude, the effects though. Excuse me? You know, look at how this looks like. It's like thundery and stuff. It's really cool looking. Hey. Ow. <laughs> okay. More and more Michael Jackson influences as well. Um, now they're in K-pop. I don't know where it's coming from, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Literally so many here in the song. All of the athletes. Even the outfits, the dance sometimes. This hair is really cool. Like the color. What the funk. What the funk. Oh, dude. Mirror image move differently. And there's many mirror images that all moved differently. That's really cool. Oh, actually every second one in the mirror moved the same way. Except him in the front. Okay. Go back again for that. <laughs> and I love that they have a second drop here. This... This do 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 in the back is also very calm. It's not at all trying to be hype here, actually. 
I like that. It's not like overly forcing you like into like let's go, it's hype, let's go. <laughs> but it's just kind of chill. Hmm. The post chorus is not too bad either. <laughs> Dude, the dance is so MJ. Okay, the vocal bridge. I am looking. Okay, the head throw and then transition. That's cool. Of course. Dude, the effects, man! The way the head appears and like even the snapping. Like look at like like how he creates color, like white color in this black space basically. With snapping. I can watch it like ten times honestly. That's so visually pleasing. The way the head oh my god. Okay, some rap, let's get it. The outfits are so cool. Oh, the epic again, dude. Oh my god. This is one of the... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna wait for that. Till the end. Actually, whistling now. Hey. Of course, of course. Hey, I like how they. This is the. Okay, man. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it now. I was waiting for it. Only he's the only guy who puts off the hat. I was like everyone's probably doing that, but no. He's the only one that he turns around so that it okay, that's so cool. He was also the only guy moving here, huh? I don't know what that means actually, but that's a cool logo as well. Um I just wanna say this is one of the best music videos that is still subtle. It's not over the top like fast like it, it no it's not that fast paced actually in cuts and everything like that it's very calm like even the video like cuts and the speed the tempo of it is very soft and not that fast paced which aligns with the instrumental and the song especially in the chorus so i like that a lot but it's like one of these like slow paced videos that is still so crazy visually with the effects and stuff you see usually when people do that put a lot of work and time and money into the effects then they probably used it and utilized that with a very fast paced music video. They're like something like um, Victor's uh, Mayday. Uh, what's, what's Victor's Thunder? And Very Very Mayday? Dude, I always confuse these. Uh, anyways, the combination of those two songs. Um, they are two examples from last year that did that, but they went really over the top with the pace as well. They were very aggressive and very fast, which I still I, I really enjoyed that because it was really good. But this is more the kind of like. It's like Chang has snapping music video, honestly, but the effects are like on point, like some really, really unique ones as well. I really appreciate the 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 work that put they put into this. Like there were a lot of effects I have never seen before. Actually, uh, at least in K-pop, not I. I recognize some of them like in general. That was nice though. And one thing else I wanted to point out is that the outfits at the end with the hats on, right? So basically, did the whole last section like these outfits. And even these, like like in general, the the black, um, full in black, and then the the hat on, it reminded me a bit of eighties hala hala outfits, um, but just a little bit more extravagant, and more like glimmer and and glitter and golden in there and stuff like that. But they reminded me of that, which is cool because I really enjoyed those outfits as well. But yeah, that was one us with Black Mirror. That was um, much cooler and calmer than I expected it to be with one us. But this just shows how versatile they are because they did so many different things already. They had like the Curia Twilight, then they had Lit, they had also the um I, I for some reason forget the name of that song. Um I don't know why. 
actually the song where they were at the beach, like not necessarily at the beach, but on the island, and I don't know why I don't know why. One us. Oh, they had also no dignity, of course, very, very uh, aggressive as well. Um, to be or not to be, also pretty aggressive, I would say. A song written easily, that was the one I was thinking of, yeah. So that was also very, very different. And now I would say, a song written easily almost reminded me a bit of uh, One We. And now with Black Mirror, we are kind of moving in another space, which they have not really explored yet. Nothing really comes close to this from what they have done before. Maybe to be or not to be a little bit, but not really, I would say. So this is very unique for one us and again, just proves how versatile they are. I really enjoy that. And I, I am very happy for them that they can show this, and I like that, because I think they're one of the better boy groups these days. Um, like, very consistent. They have, like, great music, B-side-wise as well. They have consistent albums as well, not just singles or anything like that. And they're not, like, doing it too much, I would say, like, like how 80s did it for one and a half years, where they basically published, like, six or seven albums in one and a half years. I think it was, like, six albums. Which is insane. Um, and then they did kind of, like, consistently good ones, right? They're, like, not too slow with their releases, but also not too fast. And whenever they have a release, it's really good. And, like, it's something new or just, like, improved. So I like what they do. I like RBW here with boy groups. I obviously am a hardcore stand of RBW with girl groups. I mean, uh, Mamamoo, and then literally, I won a fan call of Purple Kiss, and I'm a big, big Purple Kiss fan. I'm gonna call myself a pumpkin for now because there's no official fan name yet, I think. Uh, I have not checked for two weeks, but probably there's no news because I would have heard that. But, anyways, <laughs> RBW, boy groups, I'm getting there, man. And this is great. One us, Black Mirror. That was a quality release. Thank you so much for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and have a nice day. Peace.